Hi my friends, welcome back to another painting tutorial. This week I'm going to do something um, very big, very very big. So I got this request from someone, it's a commission, um, it's the Shandon Bells, but very subdued, kind of a very, um, kind of a very grey, tonal kind of a painting, okay? It's a very very big painting, it's on MDF board, I explained this in the last um, video, MDF board four foot wide by two foot high, well primed, hanging um, just proud of the wall. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, this is my four foot by two foot board. Okay, it's a big, big sheet of MDF. It's fairly big now, alright, to be fair. A um, lot of work in this, but it's going to be very, very subtle. Um, what I want is basically something like this Shandon Bells in Cork. So something like this, blown up very big and very wide to that. Now that's going to be a nice challenge, isn't it? So you can compare the two. This one over here is 20 by 16, so that's a fairly nice size anyway. But this is very big. Um, I did start sketching it slightly. You can see it just there, a very slight hint of a sketch. Um, but a lot of grey going up. A lot of grey clouds, a lot of fog, a lot of mist going along, uh, different layers as you come down, okay? And Shannon Bell is then standing proud up out of the mist. Is that going to be lovely? Something I'd like to try. Um, I'm, I'm painting it anyway, so I thought, why not do a tutorial and um, show you my process. This is half inch MDF board. It's marine MDF board, so it's expensive, but it's well worth it because it doesn't allow moisture in. I gave this four coats of white primer, okay? Um, and I have a timber screw to the back of this so that it hangs. Um, I don't know if I can show you now, but it hangs on the wall, but it stands out proud from the wall a little. Okay, you can see the timbers I have there. So it hooks onto the top one up here, okay? So that piece will hook onto a piece on the wall and it'll stand out then that much from the wall all the way around, you see? So that's going to be lovely. Anyway, I thought this would make a nice tutorial as I'm doing it. Um, it's for a good friend of mine here who loves our loves cork, cork scenery. So let's crack on. I'm going to have a bit of fun with this. I'll show you my process, okay? Stay tuned if you want to see how I approach it. It's going to be fun. Don't go anywhere. Okay, here we go. This is my board and I have a very quick sketch of Shandon Bells um, up here. Nice and close, but not too close. I don't want to overpower the painting, so it's a little bit back, okay? Um, lots of grey mist going through all of this, all right? You might see some little rooftops, um, some buildings way off in the distance, but nice and simple. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, we have a lot of mixing to do here. Well, not a lot of mixing, but we have to mix a lot of paint for this. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I'm going to dampen my brush, and here are my colours, okay? Nice, simple little palette. I'm going to take some white, all right? And I'm going to make the sky just nice and simple and subtle, okay? I'm going to take a little black. And remember, we need a lot of paint, so I'm going to mix a really good amount of paint, just to get me started, so I don't have to be mixing every two minutes. So let me just get lots of paint now. I'm going, I'm aiming for a nice pale grey, okay, for the sky. Let's take a look at that now. Okay, that's not bad. It's not bad. I may take it a little bit lighter. <clears throat> the problem is, I want, you see, this is a grey colour brick as well, or stone. And in reality, it's kind of a light grey. So I'm going to have to make this slightly darker to stand out against a light grey sky. I can't put a dark grey sky behind this because I don't want it to be too dark. So I need to be very careful. I need to really think this through. Um, you could call this, I suppose, um, a tonal painting because there's just a lot of grey, okay? Different shades. Now I'm taking some Naples yellow as well, just to soften it, and the Naples yellow will warm the grey as well, slightly, you see? A slightly warmer grey. That's what I want. That's a lovely colour. So just for along the top, I'm going to do this mix. And it's going to get lighter and lighter as it comes down. All right. Now, 
this is just a handy little tutorial for you to practice greys and all that kind of stuff. I just thought, um, as I was painting it, why not make a little tutorial? Okay, and this is probably the biggest painting I have done for a tutorial. But it's actually quite simple, to be quite honest. It's um, a nice, easy kind of a setting to paint. It's not too overwhelming because it's just a lot of lights and darks, okay? And then there's just one accent colour in the centre showing off the painting. So, you know, it's only... Let me just make sure now everything is still recording because, you know, on more than one occasion... It had stopped recording just for no particular reason. My phone, so I'm using my phone today just for a change. Um, I'm going to just go around St Anne's Church. It's actually called St Anne's Church, but we know it here as Shandon Bells, and the wider community, people around the world, will know this as Shandon Bells, okay? So it's Shandon Bells, but it's actually called St Anne's Church. And someday I am going to take you on a tour of St Anne's, Shandon Bells. I'm going to take you in there with my camera and take you up and ring the bells and um, show you the lovely, fantastic views we have over the city. So very soon I'm going to be doing that. I think you might find that fun, I suppose. You know, something different. Show you some nice landmarks. And, you know, if you're thinking about visiting Cork, Shandon Bells is a must. You cannot visit Cork without going to Shandon Bells, okay? Um, it's the most important landmark I think we have. And it's really a beautiful spot to go. And you can sit down out in the back here, a big green area out the back. Sit down there, have a little bit of a picnic or whatever. It's absolutely glorious. So definitely pop in and have a look. So I'm going to lighten this as it comes down now, you see. I'm adding more and more white into the mix. And not only more white, I'm also going to add more Naples yellow. So I'm now going to start going really, really light with this. Because on the photograph I'm copying, there's uh, the, the painting rather that I'm copying here. There's a beautiful soft yellow kind of a glow in the sky down here. It's really wonderful. So I want to get that kind of glow, okay? It's really, really lovely. So there's a hint of Naples yellow in this mix. And that will just brighten the sky up a little, okay? And I do have plenty of turpentine in this, but not it's not overly wet, okay? I'm, I still want enough strength in the colour to cover this white board. Um, I don't, but I don't want it to run down on the board or anything like that. So it's a kind of, um, I suppose it's like, it's a creamy, creamy, nice creamy consistency. All right. And this has to be a nice simple sky because if I start putting lots of grey clouds and all that kind of stuff through here, um, it's going to take away from this, the centre focal point here. And I don't want to do that. I want to keep this as my focal point, okay? So, this side of the church here is red stone. And the opposite two sides are white, normal white stone. So, because it's to represent the colours of Cork, red and white. So, they built the church in two separate colours. One half is red, one is white. I got the red side here, luckily. So, this kind of pinky, browny stone kind of a colour will really stand out beautiful on this painting really really well so i cannot wait to start this little church in the middle and get lots of detail in here so look i'm coming along nicely now this is looking quite nice and what i will do as well um is i'll go around the edge of the board as well okay on the painting now i don't need to necessarily do it right now but um i will definitely be going around the outside of the board as well so that when it's hanging um, you know you can see the color all the way around does that make sense that's the idea anyway okay that's the idea so I put a little bit on that side up there like that I'll soften it then just soften out the edges there like that you see what I mean lovely very nice And when I'm painting skies like this and paintings like this in general, um, 
with a simple sky I like to work quickly because if you dwell too long on a painting like this where it's just a simple sky if you dwell too long on it you start getting into details and you, you know it's, it's it's very difficult to keep it simple then so what I would say is um, just big brush strokes work quickly and um, you know try not to pay too much attention to little things little details because I just want a simple sky for this background okay a nice simple bright sky you know what I mean so it's great but it goes off to kind of a nice bright color in the distance now I'm just dragging my brush through there very gently just to straighten out those brush strokes okay on either side um, I'm going to fill that corner up there let's take a little hint again of black plenty of white and I'm using lamp black it's a very strong potent color okay it's really really strong so only a little goes a long way let me just go up there and soften that back through that and there and then again a little turpentine and some white bringing that down to a nice soft color some naples yellow into that so again some white soften that in and the thing about this mdf even though this is primed four times i gave this four coats of white primer okay it still feels a little sort of dryish it's kind of soaking the paint in only ever so slightly so you still feel your brush kind of dragging on the board even though it's completely smooth absolutely completely smooth you still feel the board kind of dragging uh, the paint off of your brush does that make sense okay now let me just make sure everything is okay on camera that's good um i'm going to brighten this down and add even more naples yellow to the bottom of this let's give my brush a good clean here get some of this gray off and i'm going to take some white i do by the way love working on these palettes i normally use the white paper palette um so i can just tear that off throw it away and have a new fresh one only for tutorials but for this big painting um, I need my big palette okay it's just a standard wooden palette and that's my old side I thought I'd use a new side so you can see me mixing properly hope that's okay so I'm going to take some white Naples yellow and lots of these colors now lots of each okay lots of Naples yellow lots of white and I'm making this mix slightly thicker because I want this now to cover much better you see look at that oh that's nice isn't it look nice bright glow off in the distance and I don't have to soften my brush strokes in too much um, I still like to see a little bit of direction on the sky so I'm not blending too much into that paint okay now isn't that just a glorious kind of brightness down on the horizon okay so even though it's black and white it's based on kind of a black and white sort of theme um you'll still have that kind of glow of the sun going off behind the distance you see it's kind of going right down in the sky and it's creating a wonderful glow okay um that's what i kind of want to create so it's a simple sky but nice does that make sense it's a nice simple sky but still it's it's nice at the same time let's get a little bit of brightness there just to kind of break up that horizon and uh, okay we're doing quite well now this is nice very happy with this so far um okay let me take a quick look at this now hmm okay i'm gonna soften some of that in and i may add a little bit of a darkness just on top um just to make this stand nicely against a wall okay so whatever wall is going on i think just maybe on one side so i'm thinking of the composition and i want to kind of balance this nicely so if i put the darkness on this side up here okay we then have darker color here with the church here coming up so everything may tend to be on one side of the painting so 
I'm, I'm thinking about that. I might put some darker colour on that side just to balance the painting. Because we have buildings here, then we have a little bit of darkness here in the sky coming in just to sort of balance the entire painting out. Does that make sense? So let's take a little bit of black. And um, I might try a hint of phthalo blue, perhaps. Um, you probably don't even need phthalo blue in this, but... Let me just try this for a moment, okay? If I think it's too dark, then we can adjust. Now that's not bad, look. See, it's softening into the colour underneath, so it's not too bad. And let me just bring that down. I'm just doing a kind of a crisscross, okay? That's how I do my skies, if I'm keeping a simple sky like this. Just simple little crisscross brush strokes. Soften it across, just to give the impression of layered clouds up there just one or two maybe go across here slightly with that color and bring this down then bring another one or two just to suggest some movement in the clouds okay that's all i want to do i don't want to kind of go overboard with this but it's more on the left hand side of the painting and perhaps even come down here a little bit more Now, let me just soften those brush strokes and I'm pulling them down at this angle, okay? Following the angle of the sky, well, the angle of the clouds rather. So your eye is being pulled downwards into the painting, into the centre. Okay, let me just stand right back now and take a really good look at this. Just to make sure I'm happy enough. Okay, that's not bad. Um, okay, yeah, I wanted to keep it simple. So I think I've I've achieved a nice simple sky. Okay, I don't want to kind of uh, get carried away. Don't want to get overboard with this. Um, all right, we take a look at this now. Okay, I think I'll go with that. I'm happy enough with that. So our sky is pretty much done. Um, I think I might actually lighten it just a little bit more at the bottom there. Okay, I'm going to try. A different brush I'm gonna try this nice big flat okay rosemary and co beautiful brushes that I got as a gift from Janelle thank you so much um, beautiful soft brushes I really love these brushes I'm taking some Naples yellow and white okay just those two colors that's all I'm using and I take a tiny amount of turpentine just to break the paint I don't want to make this wet but the turpentine is just to sort of break down the paint slightly so that they mix that little bit better together. And with that nice bright colour, put that in down there, okay? And you can just keep going with this as much or as little as you like. Alright? It's entirely up to you. How far you go with this colour? Let me just pop a little down there. And I want to go over here and do a little bit on that side. So, a little bit like that. Okay. I could kind of add one or two floating clothes going across um i did want to keep it simple but i want to just because it's such a big big board i want to try and make you know add a little bit of interest to the sky just here and there i'm going to take some more titanium white because i don't have any white left so let me just get some titanium white on my palette plenty of that don't be shy and Let's try this brush, okay? Um, let me just have a try of this now. I'm not sure because we have a lot going on down here as well. Um, no matter, I leave it. I think I leave it at that. Right, let's go and do all of these down here. So it's basically a nice darker grey all the way across. And we can start picking out some buildings, some 
just some tops of buildings that's all so let me go in here now to this mix here and i'm going to make a nice soft gray not too dark all right so let me just try this so we're going to start bringing darker and darker layers forward okay let me just try this one there we go that's not bad and this is off in the distance now so i'm going to give it a nice wiggle i don't want it to be completely straight if anyone has been to cork recently you will know that there's a lot of hills it's very very hilly landscape all right and um there's lots of suburbs and stuff like that so any land is always really up and down there's very very hilly land in cork which is a good thing it means we have lots of lovely scenery okay so let's keep going like this a little bit of black a little bit of white giving that plenty of movement all right now i'm not going to go all the way down with this and i'll show you why in just a moment because i'm going to create a beautiful mist down here so this is going to get lighter and lighter as it goes down but before i do that i'm just going to continue on across the other side of the church with this color okay so a continuation of that like that you see not that lovely and i'm just going to drag the brush strokes through just to make it look like it's continuing right through all the way off of that distance now you could if you want even soften some of this into the distance look to create a lovely mist because it's one of these really foggy kind of mornings in cork and everything there's lots of fog rolling through different areas um, so what I'm going to do now is with that some of that color I'm going to start picking out uh, some little suggestions of buildings and all that kind of stuff going on in the distance okay and it's really just to create stuff going on movement that kind of thing now i could even switch to a small brush okay because this is so far off i'm just going to take a small detailed brush some of that color and you see i'm just going to start adding little suggestions of stuff going on off in the distance it's just a very rough line okay i'm not painting i'm not trying to paint little roofs and all that kind of stuff but you know little suggestions of it could be chimney tops um all that kind of thing buildings in the distance bit of everything so it's just basically overlooking the city lots of stuff going on so you can kind of see you now the impression of a kind of a cityscape coming together coming to life coming to life right before our eyes isn't that right and it doesn't have to be any shape in particular you could do little squares for buildings that kind of thing okay now we do have one very prominent landmark in this as well and it's the county hall and it's over on this side it's basically a tall gray kind of a building it pokes up out of the landscape like this okay i'm just going to use some of that color to put that in it's just a tall rectangular building that's all And I'm just going to suggest that and everything then just kind of softens down into the color underneath okay and then I'm going to just maybe suggest a little detail in that only just a little all right just a tiny tiny little bit of detail so for instance I know 
on the top of this there's a kind of a stripe going across on this building a thick band so I'm going to put that in just and it's a little tricky to do this now because I don't have my stick to stabilize my hand so I'm doing all this sort of freehand without any support on my arm here so it's a little tricky to get straight lines but it's okay it's fine this is all just a nice suggestion okay it's just something simple like that that's all uh, i might even take a bit of white and lighten that slightly and suggest little wind just a suggestion of some windows and stuff like that going on this is all very loose now okay you see so moving on I'm going over here now and I'm not going to go too far with all of this I just want to I'm going to move to a smaller brush I'll go to this small flat one that I just had and let me just suggest some little buildings like so and everything then is kind of coming down and being softened in an impression of some trees and big big trees off in the distance that could be like a wooded area here and there nope just nice and soft pulling everything down and it's all disappearing in now this is just the first layer of the work okay now i'm going to take a smaller brush and pop in a little bit of detail here and there in the distance not detail as such just a couple of extra, let's put, uh, there's nothing over on this side, look, let's put a couple of extra bits over here. Like so, and let's put it, maybe there's some kind of radio tower or something like that off in the distance there. So, you see, it's just little dots with the brush, that's all. letting your mind fill in all the blanks okay so your your mind can fill everything in um it's just to tell you that there's a lot going on and you can leave that side over there okay what i'll do is i'll just soften some of that into the distance as well make it nice and misty okay now how is that looking it's not bad now is it no so that's a nice first layer put in and then what i'm going to do is take some white okay i'm going to take some white with some of this naples yellow and i'm going to create a beautiful mist all right and i'm using naples yellow now just to make this nice and warm and i'm going to go down here with circular brush strokes and create a lovely mist down at the bottom let me clean my brush because it's a little bit dirty and get some more white naples yellow again and let's go down and create this lovely mist i'm just going around in little circles with my brush all right and i don't want to soften this completely in i want to leave the brush strokes you know those little swirly marks because that's the mist that's the impression of the mist kind of rolling through the city does that make sense or a lovely mist lovely fog put a little bit more over here I need to brighten all of this up isn't this wonderful now just so you can see the effect that I'm trying to get that kind of city foggy kind of a city foggy morning bright and early lots of mist going through the city there we go look at that isn't that lovely so 
So you can get a general sense now of what I'm going to achieve with this painting. We'll have this beautiful tower standing out. And this is going to be absolutely stunning when it's hanging on a wall against the dark grey wall perhaps. This is going to look absolutely stunning. And I'm actually excited for the person getting this painting. I'm excited for him because this is going to be one that I will regret selling. This is going to be just gorgeous. Now it's a commission by the way, but this is actually turning out really nice. I may have to paint one for myself. So James, I hope you like this so far. It's always nice to see a tutorial of your painting being done, isn't it? Okay, that will do, I think. I'll keep it at that. I won't go too far with the mist. Next thing so to do is to create another layer in front of this. So we'll have another darker layer of chimney tops, roof tops, all that kind of stuff, cutting in front of this one. You understand? Okay. Let's start again. Um, I'm going to leave the church till the very end. All right, that's what I'm going to do. And my next job is to start putting some nice rooftops across here. And the land rises slightly over on this side. So let me just take a look now, stand back and take a good look at all of this. Okay, that's lovely. I'm happy enough with that. So I'm going to start mixing some darker color and some warm as well. So I'm going to take some lamp black, a little burnt umber this time as well, some white. I'm not going too dark with this, okay? Not very, very dark, but a nice darker shade of what we just mixed earlier. A little burnt umber, and it's going to get warmer as it comes more forward. I want to keep the greys in this nice and warm, okay? I don't want them too cold. So that's why when you mix black and white, you get a basic gray. Then I'm going to add some burnt umber to warm that and even some Naples yellow as well. The Naples yellow really pushes the color back, makes it lovely and chalky and it's kind of a chalky color. So let me take a look now. This is quite nice now. I like this color. This is a nice mid range kind of a gray, but it's not again, it's not a cold gray. It's not a it's a nice warm grey. So let me try this. Um, I'm basically going to go from here, let's say, creating some rooftops. And again, just like in the other one, it's just an impression of lots of stuff going on, okay? So what I'll do is, look, I'll go along, paint my little wiggly line first, up and down. I'll bring the colour down slightly, like so. And this building here, okay, let me show you. I'll just paint the outline of this for you. So this is the roof. So we have a church here with the extension coming out this way. So the roof is going to be going like this. Okay. So we don't need to paint through all of that. So there we go. Now I'm going to lighten that grey just slightly. Need to lighten that a bit. Again, a little bit more white, some Naples yellow. And it's good to leave the brush strokes and stuff like that, okay? It's good to leave all of those. Just to give you a bit of direction. Let's move to the other side. and Get that in on the other side as well. I don't want to go too far up into my mist. It does take a rise here. The, the land does kind of rise up sharply on this side. And just go through my line just a little there. Bring that across. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is just take a bit of white and I'm going to 
lighten some parts of that might be a little bit on the strong side just here and there okay soften that down before i do my mist i'm going to go up now and do some chimneys and all that kind of stuff okay and it might be easier for me to sit when i'm doing this so i'm just going to pull my chair over and i'm going to sit while doing this just to give my hand a little bit of steadiness that's all let me take some of this lovely color here and start putting in suggestion of some rooftops chimney tops all that kind of thing okay it's just a very light suggestion that's all you see what I mean? It's just very, very light, letting your mind fill in what's going on. So without realising it, your brain is telling you, okay, it's a cityscape, these are all little rooftops and buildings and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just putting the suggestion there, okay? That's what I'm doing. Couple over here, lots of little chimneys and roofs going on. So you can see what I mean. Now and then I'm going to start putting some detail in here. Now, would you like me to zoom in slightly, or are you happy enough with that? I'll leave it at that look just for now. I think you could probably see what I'm doing anyway. I'm going to then take some, a little bit of that lighter colour, and just start suggesting some lights hitting some of these. Okay, and then you see, start suggesting some of these rooftops. Like that, okay. And getting some little bits of detail on some of these chimneys as well. So, for instance, the little chimney pots up on top. Okay, like so. Little bits of detail here and there. You can kind of begin to see it take shape, can't you? So, a really nice tonal exercise, I think. Just a really nice, simple tonal painting. Also, we do have a lot of smoke coming from chimneys. That's something else that I want to show you now in just a moment. So lots of smoke coming from these little chimney tops. Okay, what I want to do is soften these kind of brush strokes. Just soften them all down into the color underneath, okay? Because I don't want too many brush strokes showing down here. It's nice and soft and misty. That's the point of the painting. So I'm just going to soften some of them down. Next we have some darks. Let's put in a couple of darks actually. Let's take a little bit of black and a little burnt umber. Because we do have some darks as well. Okay, a little bit of black, a little burnt umber. And then let's just add little touches of shadow here and there some of these you see just kind of again suggesting little touches of detail 
Now the sun is kind of gone down in the sky, so there's not going to be really a light side and a dark side as such. But I think just to give it a little bit of something, I think a little bit of darker colour here and there does help. Okay, you see what I mean? It doesn't matter which side it's on. Um, it's just to add some interest to the features. Okay. Couple of horizontal lines here and there. You see what I mean? Just to break it up. And it does help. Now let me use my flat brush and create a couple of little rooftops as well. With that. So you see the impression of some little rooftops just going along. Cork City is full of little rooftops and terraces. So this is just giving that impression, that's all, you see? I'm not worried about putting too much detail in all of this. As I said, the focus is on Shandon Church here, so, you know, I'm not putting too much attention to these. Not too much. Just a hint. Then what I'm going to do is lighten with some mist. So I'm going to come down now and put lovely mist into all of these. Let me take some white. And I need more Naples yellow on my palette. I'm going to lighten this right up. So let's take Naples yellow. With a hint of white. Come down here. And let's lighten that right up. Clean the brush. Go back into fresh colour. Again, create a lovely mist down here. Right at the bottom, going along. Clean the brush again. So I'm cleaning my brush constantly just to keep it nice and fresh. Keep the colours nice and fresh. And I can come up here and pull some of those down. Maybe soften some of them in, here and there. The idea is it just gives you that impression of little rooftops poking out from above the mist, okay? That's just the feeling I'm trying to create in this painting. Misty morning rolling mist rolling through or the fog rolling through the streets and terraces so you see that that's just lovely nice and subtle but effective i would say now i'm just going to add a couple of bright colors just here and there so i'll show you what i mean take some naples yellow with some white and I just want to add one or two lighter colours. Here and there. Just to break up some of those darks, that's all. And then I'll kind of soften them back in again. Just ever so slightly. I want to create some fog coming out of some of these. In fact, you know what I want to do just to break up that landscape, I want to put one or two tall. They could be like telegraph poles or something like that, okay? Just really tall ones. Like that. And then add a touch of light to some of those. So doesn't that help a little? Now, I'm going to get a rough brush and I'm going to start creating some um, smoke from chimney tops, okay? So I'm going to take a nice brush here now. Let me go for something, uh, something like this, something nice and wide, something very rough and splayed. I'm going to take some dark grey, 
some of this regular dark red that we have and I'm going to just put it so let's go for this one and I'm going to create the direction of the wind so the wind is going to be blowing these like this so I'm just going to go with the circular motions okay up into the sky look at that isn't that lovely and it just sort of disappears then into the cloud just disappears off now look isn't that beautiful that's one and we can do a couple of these now different shapes different sizes okay and some could even be lighter than others let's try that again a little bit of a lighter one here disappearing up into the sky isn't that lovely I'll go with another one or two let's try a couple of smaller ones down here so there could be a few off in the distance as well all right and I'm going to put say what have we got there one two three four maybe one more smaller one uh, just here like that already now we're getting that nice foggy kind of a morning effect and then I'm going to take some white and I'm going to try one or two little lighter ones around here just to break it up you see coming from inside the fog deep down inside that mist there's hidden chimneys and hidden rooftops letting all this stuff out isn't that lovely now I'm going to take a soft blender brush and just soften some of this see just make that lovely and soft and smooth here and there now isn't that wonderful look at that and we're already starting to look like a busy city lots of buildings and that kind of stuff going on so let's move to the other side and let's do basically the very very same thing with this side over here some brown some white and some black and just start creating some little buildings okay there we go now and it's lovely just trying to create a little impression and allowing the viewer to fill in what's going on um, it's a lovely way of painting so just think to yourself impression everything is an impression of something you know I'm not trying to paint actual uh, windows and all that kind of thing I'm just creating little brush strokes and letting you the viewer fill in the blanks okay fill in the rest that's my idea behind the painting because it's all about a splash of color this painting it's all about just getting a little splash of color in one particular section of the painting so that it really stands out up on the wall of the house now let's take a little bit of a darker color might add a hint of brown into that and again add a few little darks here and there so now I'm just going to go along and soften some of those down so that again they just kind of disappear down into this color underneath then I'm going to add some lights into this some Naples yellow with some white 
and just see it like go along and just give that suggestion I hope you're enjoying this and I hope you're even getting some inspiration just to try um, a toenail painting like this I suppose you could call it a toenail painting it's just about lights and darks of one particular colour the colour being grey but it's a nice little exercise and it really helps you understand mixing um, and how the slightest little difference in a shade can make all the difference does that make sense? Now I'm going to take some white I'm going to just start creating my mist I will lighten that mist as well I think that's still a little bit dark for me so I'm going to take some white with some Naples yellow and the nice thing about this Naples yellow is it gives you it really does give that wonderful glow in the fog it just really lifts the whole painting right up doesn't it I think it does a little bit here like that just going around in little circles and that's all it is okay just try it it's a lot of fun just give it a go let me get more Naples yellow here and I'll come over to this side do the same over here And before I paint the church, I'm going to leave some of this dry on either side just so that I can get some nice sharp lines on the church, okay? So I will let some of this dry for a little while, for a couple of hours anyway. It will be enough time to just let the paint take hold and kind of grip the board so it's not very, very wet. I don't want it to be very wet when I'm trying to paint these sharp edges. So let me just do that like that this is lovely now isn't it nice misty scene okay i'll take my soft brush and i'm just going to soften some of these some of these out just a few look i don't have to go crazy with this just a few and perhaps over here as well isn't that lovely now I will lighten this again, just a little bit more. Let's just take a little bit of white on its own. And you're almost adding sort of different layers of mist. Isn't that, light, isn't that nice now? See, just different layers. Okay. Okay, next I must go back now and do some smoke out of these here and I'll try this one just here this looks like a nice spot to start one little smoke coming out of some chimney tops disappearing up into the sky like that I'll give it a bit more of a curve just here and maybe go up a little bit higher just with this one Yeah, that's not bad. Okay. Let me try another small one. I'll go just in front of this small building there. So now you can kind of get the impression of the wind going in a certain direction. Okay? You can get the wind kind of pulling those across. That's really nice. I'll try some lighter ones. Let me get some white and naples yellow and perhaps try one or two lighter ones here and there rising up from the depths of that mist a few little Pockets of smoke coming out from chimney tops. There we go, look at that. Isn't that lovely? And nice. So already we have this wonderful cityscape 
right in front of our eyes. Isn't that amazing? Now, I'm going to soften some of these. And I might put one, maybe one or two extra light ones over on this side. Let me start here and work in one just like that. Perhaps another one just there. Bringing it down like so. Isn't that lovely? So I'm going to then start adding little few details on that side coming up. So like for instance, let's say telegraph pole peeking up out of the fog. Okay. Lots of those little things, and let's perhaps put a couple of little strings between them. You see, just a suggestion. And I may put some light colour on those as well. Let's put one or two over on this side. Because there's a lot of these around the city. I won't do too much. Just a suggestion. And then I'll pop a couple of little highlights just here and there on some of those. You see, it's just a little bit of a light. That's all. And it just separates the dark from the light and brings them out from the background slightly. Okay, and then you can even pull them down into the mist. Look, pull them down, and they disappear down into this lovely mist. And how is this so far? This is coming on quite nice, isn't it? I'm going to stand back and take a nice good look at this and let me see what that looks like yeah that's pretty good I'm happy with that I will call that part one finished my friends and I'm going to come back and we will start the church okay so don't go anywhere I should be back very very soon part one is finished I'm very happy so far don't go anywhere I'll be right back <laughs>